Today is the 4th of May, 2022. Good morning. <laughs> I have my cup of coffee. It's so important. The most important meal of the day sometimes for me. Mm -hmm. It helps my headaches not go to migraine level at times. I don't really like that. Uh, I'm not a fan of pain. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit against pain. Maybe it's because I'm biased. So go to my website, www.susanmelane.com. Make sure to like my official YouTube videos and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to additionally um, share the official links to my official YouTube videos. And if you're going to comment, please do make sure to use etiquette and be respectful. So yeah, I deal with headaches and migraines ever since waking up from my coma after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, and there's been these various aspects that the, the pain levels go as they go. There are ways I make attempts to lessen the pain, and then there are times when it just is as it is and it continues onward. So I do the best I can. Sometimes it really is where coffee is just... <laughs> several males in medical holds unit who, who, so there were different trial phases, and one of the trial phases of the anthrax shot, I think it was the first two or three where um, I was informed that they, they, they didn't have as many survivors. The individuals that were in medical holds unit at the time that had the anthrax shot, they had different levels from what I remember. So one had only received one, another had received two, and, and so on and so forth. And they were in medical hold unit from the mid-1990s. This was the year 2000. The Army was doing everything they could to actually work on it to make it better because of how much occurred regarding you know, the, the few guys that had the reaction. And so... Um, of different levels because I know that I'm not the only person who's ever had a head injury. Maybe, okay, the first one or only one who's had one on Palm Sunday in 2000 during basic training. And what I was told was Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And over the time frame, the majority of medications that I had been on were not FDA approved. They became FDA approved after certain lengths of time phases of the trials. And so it was it was heavy duty. So 
this from my childhood, so I have no idea who the majority of people are that are on this <laughs> Joe Rogan experience show. No, they're interesting. They have a lot to discuss, and so I've been going through some of the different uh, official YouTube videos there while interchangeably listening to, you know, because I have my thing about Greg Gutfeld. And I've, I've liked him since Red Eye. I found Red Eye, and I was like, oh, who is this? What is this? This is fantastic. <laughs> Who is it? And, and, and for Fox News, it was amazing. You know, because the majority of time when listening to the news stations, as far as Fox and CNN and MSNBC, and going through the different time frames, Red Eye, I think, was the only one on late at night. And so I was like, oh, well, let me, let me check out this guy. Who's this guy? And he'd have on different, you know, people similar now ish for the Greg Gutfeld show though you know red eye was, was fun to, to listen to it's like you are just a little <laughs> aren't you that's all I have like I, I couldn't ever put it in words like you're just a little just, who are you <laughs> although since I've listened to a few more you know then there's Tyrus and I can envision him being like no 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 the correct question is what are you? <laughs> <laughs> so I liked listening to him because it was, you know, he'd talk about various different news sources, but give his commentary, and he was just, he was just, you know, himself. <laughs> so it was, it was really enjoyable. And then listen, what was it? He, he had a, who was the, there was a guy who did the barbershop quartet. It's like, oh, you gotta take, you gotta, you gotta go back that way, are you? Are you now? as my 
stations at Fort Sam Houston, and I had told them I had been up, I had been going to Blackland Air Force Base in Wilford Hall, and so that way they could look into the records there medically. I didn't realize there would ever be an issue in that regard. Anyway, when I was with both of them, meaning Dr. Clement and then uh, Dr. McDuff, at that time I think she was still a major, she was about to be promoted to a lieutenant colonel, or she might have been just at that board time frame, um, I brought up, you know, with what happened, I know that you two are actually going to need to do a little bit extra work. And Dr. Clement, I can't remember her first name, when I was going through the cognitive tests, she asked what I meant. And I said, we're, you do know that with what happened in New York City, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, that we are going to be uh, dealing with stuff in the United States of America. And she didn't understand what I meant, and so I told her, I said, uh, Dr. Clement, you know, I know that I can focus in one or two ways. However, I know that we're going to be sending guys overseas. We're already doing it at that point. And she said, what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't, no, it does matter. Because these guys who are going to be going over there, some of them, have a background in whatever education that they have. And she said, okay, I said, my work that needs to be done, I'm gonna do my own stuff as best as I can. And I'll, and I'll go through the military where I can, so some of the stuff, I'm going to have to go into the civilian sector for this. And she, well, you're, you're in the civilian, yes, but in a different capacity. And what do you mean? Well, because there's other, there's alternative medicines to take a look into. Some individuals will be capable to utilize some aspects, some won't, and it just depends on who they are. And I know that there's stuff out there, I just don't know what will work for me, but maybe it'll be something that'll work for somebody else. And so I'll do what I can to make sure at the very smallest or least amount that I can bring this forward in a way that others can look into it, but there are going to be points in time where I'm going to have to have an appointment, and the appointments will be as the appointments will go, and hopefully it'll be for that. So the cognitive stuff, I'm already having issues, as you know, because this is where it was found that I went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math, and it was not understood, especially in regards to the Army, in reference to the energetic portion. Only medical and only certain ones had known that I could see. And so I made attempts to explain to Dr. Clement, as well as Dr. Major Grant, or Dr. Jamie Grimes, I think she was about, I think it was maybe one or two months before she was going to be the lieutenant colonel. And so I explained the same thing to Major, Major Jamie Grimes about it, because I knew that some of the medications that I already had been prescribed were not assisted. And I was concerned because if, if you have a, and, and this is not being rude, hopefully it's not taken in this capacity as rude, I knew that my education background was different. I knew that it was a higher level. I knew that I actually read the different college textbooks. Well, you have somebody who has a minimum ASAP score to be capable to go into whichever branch or division of the armed forces who doesn't have that and they have a head injury, there's something that's different. And, you know, in that bringing kind of uh, the education system where I could into a more equal understanding so that way uh, the starting point of if there's an issue to be capable to rehabilitate them. And for the ones that have a lower educational background, not being rude at all, hopefully that's understood, that when getting to a certain point in the rehabilitation portion, which I told uh, Dr. Major Grimes, I was nervous for guys who had a lower education background because their rehabilitation might take longer, not just in the intellectual capacity, but even the physical capacity. And she had shaken her head and she said, no, that, that, that doesn't make sense. And I said, well, because of the brain. It, it, everybody's brain is different, and if they have, depending on certain situations, depends on what the time frame to rehabilitate would be. And so where you could have someone who has the same injury, two different guys, and one has a higher education level than another, one, and you can have a third one where they're self-taught, you'll have three different results. And depending 
2001 that I had my first evaluation. And that was where the VA situation went the way it did. And then, and the headaches and migraines were not any better. My cognitive scores were infuriating to Dr. Fleming. And, um, and then by the time of, I think it was June or July of 2001, I had another evaluation. And that was what it was. It was, there was no improvement in regards to those time frames. My pain as well as the fact that I was still learning the color names. Same thing with having caps tech. So then when it came to around November, beginning of December, if I would have had an appointment, I'm going to get to me, you know, having been in the hospital uh, to deliver my son in regards of my hospital stay began in August. My son was born on the 2nd of September in 2001. Then there was a situation as far as 9-11 in 2001. And then he was hospitalized because of the ICU situation in the, within about three to five days of the attacks on the 11th of September with a high temperature. There wasn't anything that was wrong. He just had a high temperature. And there were the situations where questions were asked. Not in a way similar to CID in 2008, more along the lines of while I was taking care of my son, the individuals would come in and ask me a few things. Sometimes I was shown paperwork, other times I was shown video footage. And so those were the situations that they were. And then uh, later I was hospitalized for I think it was two and a half weeks because I had been doing what I could as best as I could during that time. So then in the end of November, beginning of December 2001, I had another evaluation and I went into the details about it and had discussed with Dr. Clement, I can't remember her name yet again, uh, her first name, and then uh, Dr. Jamie Grimes. And so the time frame went on as it did and I explained that I was at Wilford Hall for certain appointments and they, they knew how to get the paperwork regarding that. However, that went, of course, now it's JBSA as far as San Antonio or military city USA and um, and then there were other factors so I knew that from my childhood which I couldn't explain because I didn't have the words to regarding my cousin Jade having been born and raised in Harlem New York City and obviously being concerned then there were the situations as to education back then and for people who were children in the 1980s and 1990s, if you didn't have paperwork per book to fill out, most likely your textbook was a minimum of five to 10 years old, minimum. My biological sister, I, I shouldn't say five, I should say four, because my biological sister didn't have to have paperwork. She just had to have paperwork that the books would be returned in comparison to how it went. I went through the, we had to have book covers, it was mandatory to have book covers. Uh, we had 
research information online as well as whatever regarding uh, so I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years to fully dissipate. I, I actually have a dent in my skull from the impact. Now I remember that it was a metal bunk that I opened my eyes and saw the metal bunk from where I was. It was during basic training and, um, and it took a while. The next memory is that I was throwing up in a metal trash can in a master sergeant's office. So, and a female named Nagui, I remember her pull, pushing my hair out of my face of that. And so, um, and I remember it was Palm Sunday only because of the yellow sheet of paper with the folded palm leaf that made a cross. And so, because I was a child going to Old Center Presbyterian Church and I have weird allergies, such, such as I'm actually allergic to fresh fruits and vegetables. It, there, if I have alcohol, I can have some, but then I deal with hangovers, which just completely defeats me. <laughs> there was a guy I was engaged to, and this ties into where I'm going with this. He had asked me what was the food that I hadn't had before that I had wanted. So, Strawberries look cool, and he laughed at me. He was like, what do you mean strawberries look cool? I said, strawberries, they look cool. I can, I went to grow them in my garden, you know, and I explained my house in San Antonio and a few things. He's like, have you ever had chocolate-covered strawberries? And I said, you can cover strawberries with chocolate? <laughs> I was just talking about strawberries. And he was like, and I told him I had made chocolate-covered watermelon. And, and I looked. <laughs> had a very bad allergic reaction to that. Though I did, I, I made chocolate-covered watermelon. I actually even put it in the oven and all sorts of stuff. The chocolate has hardened. The watermelon stayed watermelon, by the way. In comparison to drying out, I did this whole thing. And um, so I didn't know. But you can do that with other fruit. I know it, it is what it is. I'm going to guesstimate that has to do with my cognitive issues <laughs> or cognitive disorders. But yeah, so he, he was like, well, you, have you had, and it completely blew his mind that I had not ever had strawberries. And I explained my allergies and he's like, so if you have, and I learned at Olive Garden, if I have a salad and I have alcohol, I can have some of the salad because I I really like that Olive Garden dressing with the grated cheese. <laughs> but the allergic reaction is just is what it is. So in, in that regard, he was like, "Well, we'll go." And I can't believe it. he's like for a while. He's like, "I just can't believe you haven't had any." I said, "What? What is this?" And it's like I've had a different childhood. I'll just leave it at that. And he's like, "Yeah, no kidding." Yeah, that chocolate, yeah, that stroke. What, what is it? Like, you just couldn't process it. Which is funny because I can only eat processed fruits and vegetables. <laughs> so he had arranged this. We went to a hotel and stuff like that. And he had gotten a bottle of champagne. And I learned I can't have champagne <laughs> because <laughs> the bubbles are, are very bad for me. So I can only have wine, which I like Christmas wine, and then honey, which is not wine, but it is what it is. So I, I have several wines that I actually really like, but because I have such a low alcohol tolerance. And so he had the, he had, it was funny, he had this little champagne or whatever, I'm like, oh, no, 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 that was bad. But um, he had these chocolate covered strawberries, and I had one, and it was, it, he was completely amazed watching me eat the strawberry because it was just it's like the best tasting ever. And I just, but then my lips started growing. <laughs> I had a, a massive allergic reaction to that. And uh, uh, and so he, <laughs> it's very comical. He had uh, he poured uh, some of the wine or the the champagne, and so the bubbles did some stuff to kind of calm it down. But then instantly I had a migraine from all of the bubbles, from the alcohol. Well, I didn't know that. I learned that the second time around. And that was when it's like, OK, I can have wine. <laughs> I can have mead. <laughs> I can have these really weird mixed drinks, uh, except I can't have champagne. And I, and I don't know what it is about the carbonation, because I 
and my hands had swelled up because I went to have another bite. I had like a whole one and a half chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> that was it. All it took. My, uh, it was, it was a very, like my hands were huge. You would have thought my, I was mini mouse because of how big my hands were. My lips were like, like the top part of my lip actually was touching the bottom of my nose. That's how bad of a reaction. And it was as it was. take it seriously. So I was, I didn't say a thing, you know, but I did do some modeling still, and it's like, okay, I can see certain physical that I can't explain at all. I can see where, you know, my, my body swelled up a bit. I didn't really gain weight, by the way. It was just, I don't even know how to explain it, but the Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson and the guy from the uh, U.S. Space Station that had been, he had, both of them had discussed a little bit of it regarding on the official Joe Rogan Experience uh, YouTube channel. And so there are a couple pictures where that, uh, so one of them was in February of 2012, which is funny because there's a yellow background and I'm in a green dress. You could see it heavily. I mean, massively. You would think that I put on a lot of weight, which I really did it because I had a weight scale. I was still the same weight. It was just my, I just kind of poofed up. <laughs> just poofed. <laughs> got all poofy. <laughs> and I don't mean like, you know, crinoline I mean, or tutu. I mean, I got poofy. And so, <laughs> huge yellow background, this green dress.
actually know what it is, to be honest. However, I'm sure that there was other stuff on cable channels as far as movies or something that I didn't get to watch. And again, I wasn't allowed to watch anything above a G-rated movie until after I turned 13 years old. So I had dealt with a lot of situations and a bunch of people, both in the child range, teenager range, and adult range, when I was in elementary school, they didn't believe me. They thought that I was watching something I shouldn't, as far as like my biological mother and biological father. Um, they thought that it was the people at school or what have you. There was my big blood brother, neighbor to my babysitter, and it wasn't him because he, he knew. He was the only one who had believed me at that time. There was nobody else who because everybody else thought, you know, it was something I had watched. Some people began to later in Asher Holmes Elementary School. So they were into different stuff. And it's funny because you, uh, Adam Curry had brought up the new kids on the block, and a lot of the females were really into new kids on the block. Now, most likely, the people that were <laughs> voting in regards of that MTV, whatever, were probably elementary school. So that way they know, because that reference. So <laughs> that's a warning in that regard. I'm sure he can think about that as far as. <laughs> Nonetheless, so. But by the time of middle school, more people kind of started understanding certain regards that I was only telling the truth. And the experiences that I was having had to do with the backyard, mainly, though there was also the ocean. Atlantic during the summertime. So then in 1998, I was moved from New Jersey to Illinois, and there's this little, little situation where I was being rebellious, mm -hmm. because I wanted to go see my boyfriend. And so, <laughs> which isn't really rebellious, so he lived in Ohio, and I lived in Illinois. I had met him in Illinois, and So <laughs> I got a brand new car, it's made as a 1993 Honda Civic, and it, it, I drove and followed the MapQuest directions, I wound up in Iowa instead of Indiana, and so I had to <laughs> turn around, and I was, um, I was stopped because of speeding. Now, there were some situations that I had seen in the sky. And it was frightening. So I had a yellow written warning ticket. I kept it in my glove box at the, at, for the car. And it was like, yeah, um, I won't ever tell a lie because I felt so bad. Because I didn't want to not tell the truth. So I did. I wanted to tell him what I saw in the sky. But I, I looked as I did. So there's a picture that Mike, Anna, Patricia, and I had taken before I went to the Army. That is the suit that I was wearing when I was in India. The exact suit, the gray suit, the spaghetti strap, and the dress suit, and I had the jacket. I think I was not wearing the jacket part, but yeah. That's the exact suit that I was wearing when I was stopped in Indiana. I was like, I won't ever lie again. I feel so bad lying to law enforcement. I know that every lawyer and attorney of whatever is like, you have to whatever. It's like, I can't help it. I, I made a promise. And, and I know it's dumb, but it's, I can't help it. And then I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And you want to talk about solidifying that. <laughs> as messed up as it is to say that, you want to talk about solidifying that. So, you know, I get out to Ohio, see my boyfriend at the time. I'm like, oh, you know, da, 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 you're running into something funny. <laughs> Let's talk about putting that 442 in this Honda Civic. This will be some fun, you know, what I can do. And then it's like, oh, wait, I know Mike. Never mind. No, 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 no. no. Although, he, he might be. And so, Tom, that's the, I was dating at the time, he was like, there's no way. I'm like, uh, no, 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 no. We could bust out this Parco and put an extension here. I go over the whole kit. And he's like, what is wrong with you? It'd be so much fun. Because I wasn't about to tell my boyfriend at the time that I had been beating 
So I technically wasn't lying. However, I was, I, I, it was a red line, which is funny because it's red eye. <laughs> and it, I think the, if I remember, that speedometer had 160 or 180 miles an hour, as far as I was concerned, and it was red line. I was like, you got me at 127? <laughs> Probably not the best thing to say. <laughs> And then 
2018, which is the irony. That year when I got back, I was actually going to do a write-up on it. However, all this other stuff occurred in 2018, and if a bunch of people didn't hypothetically involve themselves, I would have actually done a write-up on all of my findings. However, since a bunch of people had gotten involved, such as a hypothetical in reference to Patrick Kennedy, because he knew I had done this already, but I didn't put it in writing. So if he had hypothetically stayed out, it would have been great. Same thing in reference to Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen and her daughters, Sandra Marie Osteen and Ariel Nicole Osteen, as well as David Osteen, if that hypothetical they had just stayed out, it would have been fantastic. I could have actually gotten back and done my write-up for my work. But, you know, in that hypothetical, as far as how that went. See, this is why when people involve themselves in stuff that they don't have permission to, because they have absolutely no idea of what's going on, this is what's wrong when you don't do that, as this discussion stuff. So similarly to 2009, regarding my scuba diving, instead of a civilian recreational scuba divers and or Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen, which I'm not friends with her. I'm not associated with her. There's the blue ID card problem, as well as Sandra Marie Osteen and Ariel Nicole Osteen and David Osteen. If they had kept their own whatever out of my life, that would have been great. That would have been fantastic. I would have preferred that. Not just them out of my life regarding Georgia, but, you know, in all Mm -hmm. Yeah, in any social media, whatever you want to look by, but you stay out of my life. Don't bother me with technology stuff as far as you're concerned. I'm not interested in you. Don't want to deal with certain things. You didn't have my best interest in mind because you were doing as you chose. So in the hypothetical regarding Patrick Kennedy in 2011, I was writing notations, and then I got to a certain point where I had, and no, stay out of my life. You weren't assistive. You didn't know what you were doing, just as similarly as exotic Easter. You didn't know how to actually do security to begin with. You don't have the interest of your involvement. I don't care. It's, it's my right to choose to take care of myself because I actually knew what I was doing. Similarly, in regards to the hypothetical of my biological mother, biological father, biological sister, and any of their associations, See, I actually knew what I was doing, and if those people had told the truth from the beginning, I wouldn't have had to deal with certain things. Mm -hmm. But those types of needless problems, when they get involved thinking that they know something, only because of the whatever is posted or favorite tab, and you don't know a damn thing. Because it's none of your business. This is why, in regard to 2009, if a bunch of people had just actually asked me instead of doing the online situation, you'd actually gotten answers sooner. However, you know, common sense, and so after a point in time, it was nobody's business but mine. And once it became nobody's business but mine, it meant automatically a wall was put up. Mm -hmm. So then, in reference to 2011, and then in the situation that I was, because of those people, I had already asked. I had already asked people at International Scuba for assistance. I had asked in reference to Clear Spring Scuba Park, which includes the time frame regarding that chili cook-off. Mm -hmm. That was one of uh, everybody I made attempts, and all of them wanted to pay attention to something that was less important. And so it was one of those, all right, then I'm not interested in this sort of stuff. So I asked, and I asked, and I asked. So what you can take in consideration as far as the McCoy Elementary School situation, you have as many times and emails and so on and so forth, Make those, those situations as far as the emails. How my daughter was treated, how my son was treated, how I was treated, that's, that's the reality. And that's the similar aspect into civilian recreational scuba diving. So if people had just actually spoken me, with me in etiquette form and respect instead of what occurred, common sense would be that all of those people that I requested to speak with and ask about but they wanted to pay attention to other things instead, they missed out in 2009, automatically. And afterwards, it is as it is. So 2010, my polar bear scuba dive, the male in reference to the strawberries, that particular individual who I was engaged to, he would be capable to discuss what I actually experienced as two 
the equivalent of because of what he had dealt with at that time, and he was a male, or is a male. I'm a female. So he was treated kinder. So in regards, uh, and <laughs> he would know how that would, in that reference, be in comparison to hiring 26 scuba diving certification on my own. And then there's that scuba diver that I had dated, both of them in reference to one in 2009. He would know how that actually was. And similarly to who I had in my National Geographic Open Water Scuba Dive course, he would know what people said, even though he didn't put two and two together until 2012 of who they were talking about. So he would know exactly how they were talking about me. He may not have realized it at that time. But that uh, attitude without So he knew how Anna had spoken at me on the phone in the DFW area in 2012. That would be it. That would be. So I made attempts, though. So that's why when Irving occurred, it was one of those, why would I even bother? I, I, <laughs> there's, there's no point. None of these people are worth my time. Because if they were, they would have done A, B, C, D, E, F, J. So since I have to take care of all this other stuff, I'll take care of all this other stuff and when I get around to it. Because this other stuff is what it needs to be taken care of as far as my daughter, my son, and I. And so if people would actually learn from their mistakes and instead of doing as they've done, well then they'd learn from their mistakes and instead of doing what they've done, they'd actually get to have discussions. But there are certain individuals that just, you know, I don't need to because of my preference. And so fast forward into 2012, and I just wasn't going to discuss what happened regarding Irving. Um, there's the, the bruise that was on my ankle, and one particular picture specifically, you can see the starting point area compared to a different picture of the same leg regarding uh, what I had. Deep it went all the way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. Uh, don't be jealous. Mm -hmm. it, it, it did not tickle. That is for certain. So, um, but it was as it was. I was awake real quick. So, I brought up how I tried to flirt. It went very badly, and it was as, as it was. And I had dated a couple, a male and a female. One named Joseph Estes, and one named Meg. And this was before dating Matt, which was several months later. So, and when I say Matt, several months later, I mean after the 4th of July. So, um, before the 4th of July, I had tried. It didn't go very well as far as I made the explanations. And so, by the time of the 4th of July event at my Kimpatties, ironically, I had a red, white, and blue um, kind of 1950s-ish, 1950s-ish swimsuit that had a tie in the back, though it was a corset, but, but not a real corset, and little ruffles on the side. And I had made attempts to put my contacts in my eyeballs. Well, I don't know who knows about those Google eyeglasses. This is in the year 2012, so you know. So I go to put the contacts in and I dealt with a zapping that I've explained in reference to Washington State. And that was in my eyeball. Don't be jealous. Yeah, it was, it was painful. It definitely did not tickle. And so I made attempts several times, and then I just decided to wear my prescription sunglasses. And so it's kind of irony, because if I remember correctly, the female that I remember wearing kind of ish, not the same, but they had these huge uh, black sunglasses, and she had her hair in a little bun and a, a black dress, and had a cigarette with the little extension thing. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> so I had, I attended the 
bunch of people were stirring up all sorts of needless drama. It was ridiculous at this point. So at multiple events, I've already <laughs> had to deal with certain things, defend myself, it was as it was. And um, I made one last attempt to flirt, and when I had sat on the guy's knee, he was wearing jeans for clarification uh, after the candy bar situation. Someone who he would know named Charles was sitting directly across, and there was someone playing a ukulele, if I remember, and I didn't have my sunglasses on. I was still dealing, and I, who am I going to tell at this event that I electrocuted myself with, you know, my eye contacts, and that's why, you know, I could only wear my prescription sunglasses, you know, so I was dealing with a few things. It was a little painful on top of my headaches and migraines, and so, you know, don't be jealous. Also, additionally, you know, scuba diving from 2009, and then the additional parts of Irving. Fantastic, this is a wonderful, yeah, 4th of July, yeah, oh, oh, definitely some fireworks. I suppose I could say that I saw or see, you know, oh, say, can you see? Yeah, by the dog, Poof. yeah, no, <laughs> don't be jealous, I can make fun of myself because it hurt. <laughs> that was then, this is now, it was terrific. And so, Charles had said what Alan had gotten mad at. So I was actually talking with Mike off to the side. So Mike was, it was like a little circle. I was talking with Mike. Alan was talking with some guy like two or three to the left. Charles had said to Alan whatever he had gotten mad at. And then I, you know, sitting on the knee, I stand up because I stand up and then fall down because Alan got up, got angry, yelled at me, and it's like, what did I do? Talking with Mike a second ago, what, what happened? He, stole, he, he stomped off into the house, and it's like, what, what just happened? What, what, what? The ukulele stopped, and it's like, what is going on here? This is so weird. This is before some female goes and falls off of the ladder to get into the pool, and it's like, I am so confused as to what is going on right now. This is ridiculous. I can't see a thing, nothing. I mean, I can see blobs. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> I see a blob here, I see a blob there, I see a blob there, I see a blob there. Because realistically, you know, it, my eyeballs hurt. That's what it is. <laughs> And so I couldn't wear my eyeglasses or my sunglasses, not just because of the weight, but because the prescription was hurting my eyeballs on top of my pain from my headaches and migraines. So, you know, it, it was a little bit, it was a little bit much. I was doing what I could to be cool, you know, <laughs> stay calm and stuff like that. So I asked Mike. I told, I acknowledged he knew about the after effects, and I asked if I could go out front and just have a little bit. I explained the medical marijuana. And he knew about quite a few things. The dirt had already been taken care of, and him and Steve, I'm going to guesstimate, had verified that, yeah, my pictures from my scuba diving were accurate. And my military desecrated scuba dive gear that was supposed to go to the Navy and Marine Special Warfare Unit. Mass Marine Science Technology School with the Navy attachment. Not saying that's official, just saying. Well, nah. Anyway, I'm just pointing that out there, just irony of ironies, you know, and why her, why, why, why are you so annoying, Mike, Anna, and Patricia, and those people? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be awesome if you actually didn't do that. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome if you didn't mess things up so much. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. It'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, in my opinion. However, what proof there is is what proof there is. So, I, um, I don't understand what occurred. I have no idea why Alan got mad. I know I heard Charles say boy, which I didn't understand. And so Mike had said, yeah, go ahead and smoke a little bit. Just make sure to have your cigarette kind of cover up that, yeah, no problem and stuff like that. Because he didn't, I don't know if he 
he knew about the Irving situation or not. At the very minimum, he knew about my scuba diving. So I, <laughs> so it's a huge clusterfuck of everything. He already knows about the after effects of my head injury as well. So it's just like I'm just, and and so the the zapping was randomly occurring depending where I was walking in the house, and it was really weird because I don't know what that was. However, it's what it is. So I'm walking through the house. I get to the front porch, go out to my car. I think I had the, I think I had the uh, Honda Civic maybe at that time, or I had the, yeah, I think I had the Honda Civic at that point in time. So I go and get, although it could have been the Toyota Solara, one or the other. It might have been the Solara. Anyway, maybe. It was such a weird time frame. It was, there were a lot of cars that were went through because of the situation. And so uh, I know it was, no, 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 it would have been the Spider Eclipse. That's what it would have been. And then the Mitsubishi Spider Eclipse before that situation. There was so many situations were going on all at the time it was ridiculous so I am sitting on the front porch Alan comes out front and he sees me and what are you doing oh the pain level pain oh and I can't even speak now because of the bouncing of the sound of his voice off of the window behind me while I'm dealing with the zap issues from my eyeballs at the same time <laughs> No, 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 don't be jealous. There's nothing to be jealous of. On top of that, I'm still dealing with the stuff regarding Irving. I mean, at the very minimum, okay, whatever poopiness kind of started coming down, but you know, still, it's still painful. I'm dealing with this pain, ridiculous amount of pain in my head. I'm having these different, um, I call them ice pick migraines. And, I mean, just all of the, and he's screaming and it's like, I'm just, I can literally make the joke, and you know, I was blinded by the light because <laughs> the sunlight bouncing off of the cars and the kind of pearlization. There was a car that had a pearlization just while I'm dealing with the residual situation from my eyeballs being that it's like really <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> I am very angry. These are internal thoughts, mind you, where I'm like, I am so angry, I am in so much pain, and I can't even respond. And I made an attempt to, and he's like, you know Mike has issues, and it's like, Mike literally gave me permission. What is going on here? I have no idea what's going on. So I have no idea how Alan knew Mike at all, whatsoever. I'm very confused in every capacity. It's like, I have so much pain, owie, owie, owie. I can't. <laughs> Just so much owie. <laughs> so many. Not and, and, and I, again, I'm not a masochist. So it's like, you know, <laughs> just pointing this out there. Can't find my sunglasses. They have the prescriptions. Thankfully, I have my eyeglasses. I had a spare pair. But it was one of those, I, I can't. This heart so bad, it's so loud, and everything's going on. What's, what is going on? And then, and then, at the same time, I'm still, this part hadn't happened yet. So I'm like, I'm itching at it, and it's like, you know, what is going on? So I had to pull it and do it. So there's a modeling picture I did, ironically, in a green dress with a yellow background with Constantine wire at the same photo shoot. That was a bigger version of what I pulled out of my leg. So those modeling pictures, I can't even remember where. I think I was at Renee's house where the um, the bruise was on my ankle. That is from my scuba diving. That would be from Bobo. <laughs> for the clarifications, for those who understand my scuba diving at the Vandenberg, that was, that was after, I should say, we made peace. And I was done handling business. And so I, I made a, although because I was, it's in writing, as far as my three volume book series, The Adventures of Susan B. Lane, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, on my website, www.susanbelane.com, in the book section, I made the joke 
in the book if, if you know my personality. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a hug after I handled business because I was done and it was like, oh, well, you know, we could be friends still, right? I was like, yeah, to a degree. After, you know, <laughs> just don't be messing with the human beings. I love them. I can get, see, this is why I didn't go into this discussion as far as this lecture when the end of Theta Texas is pointless. <laughs> Back then, if I made any, and I did, I actually did make attempts to, in 2009, that's when I was like, I'm not dealing with this, you people. Like, I don't know how to deal with this, there's, you know, and so um, in 2014, maybe 2015, I find this cute little Kutubu. <laughs> little Santa Claus hat. <laughs> well, fussy. And yeah, but he has these little tentacles with these little um, like jingle bells at the end of his tentacles. And it's like, Jake, look what I found! And he's like, okay, whatever. Well, that's as close as, it's not really, I mean, it's so much cuter. <laughs> Compared, but then, you know, I mean, in part, that, you know, it, it is what it is as far as this situation is concerned. Because you can see the <clears throat> shadow behind the Vanderberg. Because, so in my defense, okay, so I said I landed at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so there's the Vandenberg. Okay, so I'm going to use this, which is not a very good scale, but okay, so there's the Vandenberg. Or I should say, this is the surface of the ocean. <laughs> This is where all the boats were. This is about where the scuba diver, civilian recreational types were. You know, this is the, somewhere around the, about the keel of the ship of the Vandenberg. And so, you know, I landed at the bottom of the ocean. And so I handled what I handled. It was in a trench area, you know. I mean, it is, I was in the Army. Okay, in my defense, I was in the Army. I didn't graduate basic training. So, you know, after whatever, 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 you could see a shadow of him after, after stuff was taken care of, you know, you know, military guys. So I have some pictures from my Boca Raton out there, Florida scuba dive, where I found some forming underwater volcanoes, and I found lava star and disc, okay, hiding underneath the coral reef at the bottom of the ocean. Just change it. So for an understanding, because you know I didn't take that many pictures when I was out of the Vandenberg, I was a little busy. All you you so there's the water color changed color. <laughs> That's all. This is just how it is. <laughs> it is what it is. And so you know. Show up this way. 
shape that had taken that picture. And, and so, yeah, that was that, that bruise that was right there. Yeah. So you fast forward to deep vellum, pun intended, I suppose. And the yellow background with the green dress and all that stuff. And then the Constantine wire situation with that modeling as far as that green dress. That's a bigger version of what I pulled out of there. Yeah, yeah, don't be jealous. Nothing to be jealous of, because just think of all those jackets, you know, shirts and owies. <laughs> don't be jealous. There's nothing to be jealous of. And so, you know, I'm still dealing with, you know, and then there's the Irving thing, okay? So it's not even a full year from the Irving. Well, first or second, I think it might have been the second time. Might have been. And that, you know, so not even a full year from the third time regarding Irving in 2011. And so, <laughs> you know, a little bit of pain that I do with the contact issues and stuff like that. I have that situation, which I don't pull that out for another, like, three or four months by that point in time. So I'm still walking around with that, you know, I don't want to call it shrapnel, but, you know, maybe, you know. about the pain, because <laughs> I was in a lot of it, and then, you know, Alan said something about it, like I, and I made an attempt to tell him that it wasn't me who said that, I didn't say boy, now I didn't do that, I didn't know what his problem was, or anything like that, you know, I called my son that every now and then when he was doing something that he shouldn't have been doing, you know, it's like, boy, oh, what else, to go and, you know, go clean your room. It wasn't anything beyond that. And so um, it was as it was. So, or sick, you know, or people, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, he was also in the Boy Scouts, so whatever. And so the situation went the way the situation had went. And it was, it was, it, it was painful. So just believe it up. It was painful. I actually had a situation in Irving. to take pictures was it was after scuba diving. I was dealing with a few things. There, they were all wearing green, ironically, of course, the graduation cap and gown. And I was doing what I could to remain calm after the CFBISD board meeting. And then there was burns on the stage as far as that was concerned. And it's like, I am not capable. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to go to the opposite end, and I'm just going to walk back and forth because I need to remain calm. I said I was going to be here. I said I was going to take care of things. I, and, and, and I'm dealing with the after effects of my scuba diving as well. It's not even a full year, and it's like, what is it to actually have assistance in the correct capacities in comparison to all this garbage going on? What would that be? in the correct capacities instead of all this other needless drama. <laughs> That'd be fantastic, but you know, that requires, you know, males actually being chivalrous in the correct capacities and females not being feminazis. That'd be awesome. Okay. So, you know, I dealt with what I dealt with. Mm -hmm. As far as I was concerned, all of that stuff. And so, in 2012, you know, July made the attempt very good. Shortly thereafter, there was a few other situations, and then it was, um, what was it? Oh, then it was, I went to make an attempt to apologize to Alan a different time, because I had the sensation that he didn't understand that I was not the one who had called him that, because I'd spoken with Mike, and Mike transpired, I said, okay, well, I'm going to go and apologize, so that I would not apologize as far as taking responsibility for that, but for the lack of capability to actually speak, to 
because I was actually going to go into the detail in those references back then and, and make a test. Well, that didn't turn out that way at all. He got angry and then I landed on the concrete and it was very, well, never mind having that discussion. Just not going to bother because that's just not worth it. the contacts as far as my eyeballs and that was the end of that so when that occurred it was like all right i was even going to go into the aspects of the flirting whatever and not fail the test all right fine i'm done not done never mind never mind i got him this little cupcake timer because he said he liked cupcakes and so i thought it was cute didn't know if he liked cooking or not and so it was like all right well i'm just gonna go on my I'm going to somehow get back to my townhouse, essentially, and deal with that situation. And it was, it was one thing after another, after another, after another. It's like, all right. And I was refusing, like 100% refusing to go into the details regarding Irving. I, and I, I genuinely believe that because obviously the situations in reference to Irving 2011, it's like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. The, I am not going not with everything that's going on. No, I have to make sure my son and my daughter is taken care of as best as possible. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it, I don't care. No, I took a stand. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Because I was dealing with both, for those who know, I had Zippy, my yellow VW Beetle. And so then there's Zippy and Zippy's friends as far as certain things that I leave it as. And then there's Zippy and Zippy's friends' enemies. Well, Zippy and Zippy's friends were more along the lines of, hey, you know, you can, you, you can, you can go into it. But then Zippy and Zippy's friends' enemies were what they were. And I just wasn't willing to deal with it. It didn't matter because I just wasn't going into it. Because how am I going to explain this back in 2012? Because if people who had actually believed, and in reference to my scuba diving, if they had just actually asked me with respect and etiquette, I would have actually discussed it. But because of the needless drama that was going on, I just one of those, I'm not even going to bother. No. Because of all these people doing stupid garbage as far as the YOLO crap, I don't have patience for it. I'm not willing to deal with those types. I don't care who they are. They don't mean anything because they seem to think that they're more important than they are. They seem to think that instead of having common sense, respect, and etiquette, their little YOLO or you only live once, whatever, is better instead. I'm not, in, I'm not interested in that garbage. I don't have patience for that. That sort of immaturity, that sort of ignorance, that sort of, sort of arrogance, that sort of haughtiness, I don't have time. Never mind. I just, I have nothing that I have positive to say. Because where all of those people could have just asked with etiquette and respect, instead, they wanted to act a fool. They wanted to go and do all sorts of anything but what would be worthwhile. Never mind. I don't have patience for you. Not one of you. They say, this, this is ridiculous. I don't have any respect for some of you because there's no reason that it should have gotten to that level. Common sense would have been so important for each and every one of them, but none of them did. Because, and if there was anybody who, was, who had said, well, why don't we just ask, that's who you should have listened to. Aside from the fact that I have brought it up, I have made attempts 2000, from August 
of 2009 all the way to January of the first weekend of January 2010 was the last attempt I made when it came to the civilian recreational scuba divers. I was done because I had already dealt with how they were during what the time of earning my 26 scuba diving certifications. They may not have thought that they were as sexist as they were and feminazi, especially when it came to the female, which when it came to who I was engaged to twice, I explained to his dad what a feminazi was. That's what I was dealing with as far as those civilian recreational scuba diver types. Because uh, don't judge me for how I look. I know I might come across some way, but no, I believe in equality. But as far as the females and the feminazi garbage, as far as those types were concerned in the civilian recreational scuba diver, no, 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 I don't have time for that. I don't have patience for that. And if people would have actually had common sense, they could have just asked me back then. So I, you know, I didn't have enough middle fingers for that when it came to that. Mm -hmm. So because that was ridiculous, I actually asked them. So if they didn't hear me, well, they should have cleared the water out of their ears because I did make attempts. And so the needless drama as far as all that combined. But again, you know, I didn't write about it. Well, because I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want to go into it. Because since those people were being as ignorant as they were, which is an irony when you take into consideration how many lighter skinned they are as the comments that they made about how I physically look. So it was just one of those, I didn't have patience for that. They may have thought that they were kinder than they were. Some of them, yeah. Then there was the majority of them that were not. They, they, the, the, I suppose there's the silent majority in reference to the little binkies in their mouth regarding the pacifiers, or I should say regulators. Because if those people had taken that out of their mouth when they were on land instead, those answers would have been then. But since they chose to make the choices that they did back then, they caused a whole bunch of needless problems not just in the state of Texas, though also in regards of the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard, obviously. There are those who would not. And so, you know, then I have the irony of being absolutely infuriated regarding that Texas hold um, poker match and the male named Tony, which I got extremely angry at over that. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, civilian recreational scuba diver types. Mm-hmm. Those types. Mm-hmm. And Don and Steve Bank. Mm -hmm. Instead. But, you know, when you do that role-playing stuff more so than actually utilizing words in an intellectual capacity, or discussions, or in this case, a lecture, uh, then you have those problems, in my opinion. So, anyway, going back to 2012 in comparison to that time in 2005, and uh, the situations that went as they did. And after that, it was, there was a, you know, there was a brief, a brief pause, like it was a 30-day thing, and it was, I'm not, I, there is no, to hear St. John Vianney High School, I didn't do anything wrong. Why should I be punished? There's no excuse for me having to deal with anything. That like, There's just no excuse. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything incorrectly. And because I didn't do anything incorrectly, there is no excuse, there is no cause, there is no reason for me to be dealing with any of that. I'm already dealing with all of this other stuff. That is ridiculous. I'm done. And I was, I, I'm not willing to deal with, I walked away from the entire lifestyle. I was done. As far as the state of Texas was concerned. 
study in recreational scuba diver situations. That's tough as far as my daughter, my son, and I. The situations regarding Irving. Okay, fine, I didn't go into those details. But all of these needless drama types. You know, the garbage in reference to my biological sister, Patricia Ann Hall Miller, and that stupid trash. I mean, you know, it really is at that point between her and her whatever. You know, two trailer park girls go round the outside as far as the Eminem song regarding my biological sister. I don't have time for that. There's no worth in that reference regarding all this other sort of needless drama. Then you got my biological mother and biological father and that sort of situation. As far as the prior stuff, I don't have time or patience for any of that. Then there's the garbage regarding my ex-in-laws and that needless drama. And the Coy Elementary School and Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District situation and that needless drama. I, I just don't have patience for all this stuff. Don't. Do, 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 the, I mean, you know, it's one of those, you go back to the time frame of 2001, having spoken with Dr. Clement and Dr. Jamie Grimes as far as that. And it's one of those, well, you know what? Maybe you don't even need a head injury to figure these particular aspects out because this is what you have in this state. This is the intellectual level that those people are, all of the irony. If once again, people were just taught to be respectful with etiquette to just ask in truth. Instead, there's only one doctor I brought up the scuba diving to. And then yes, there are a few tattoo artists, but it's one of those, hey, how about you do this? Why don't you actually speak in truth? How about that? I made that promise. You think you people can too? Do you know what you know respect and etiquette are? Yeah, these Ten Commandments are pretty simple. Not rocket science. Just saying. And so, and I wound up in Washington State. Oh, the irony. Okay. So I think that there's a lot of irony. Then I go and deal with everything that I was dealing with, and it's one of those, you know, I, I, the irony is I thought I saw uh, who I was engaged to twice to in reference to uh, Washington State at one point in time, but I was dealing with the zapping as well as all the other stuff. And then, you know, then there's the situations in reference to my Medal of Honor art project trip. And again, you know, it'd be great if people just didn't assume That'd be awesome. That would have been so much easier from the start. Those types of situations where the needless drama gets stirred around and all that sort of stuff, it's one of those I just don't care for that. I haven't cared for that ever before. I was born and raised in New Jersey. You have no idea when it comes to the 1980s and 1990s of the needless drama at that point in time. However, you have the state of Texas as far as from 2000, you know what, I should add Illinois. So you have 1998 to 2021 in the culmination of, that is essentially for what I was dealing with in a combined factor, that would be like 1985. 1985. Oh, you gotta add Georgia because my ex in law, well, not even whatever, as far as Mary Martha Nichols Osteen, that New Jersey bunch of words, uh, trifling is for one, and uh, her two daughters regarding Sandra. Marie Osteen and Ariel Nicole Osteen and David Osteen, you know, as far as that Franklin family going, combine that and that. And uh, you got, in my opinion, just my opinion from my personal experiences, and so uh, take 1980, 1984-ish from some of the stuff I heard, 1985, more certain experiences, but 1984 especially, 1985, all the way to Ironically, um, 2000, well, so 1984, 1985 is the equivalent of 1998 through 2021.
just in a different capacity. So the 1984 through 1987 time frame for what my childhood was, in a larger, drawn out aspect, that's kind of how that was in that time frame. And that's before getting into Ashramal Elementary School. That's, that's, that's what that time frame was regarding stuff that I saw, how certain females were towards one another, how I saw certain males were both towards females and other males in that particular reference. So you take that from 1984 through about, I'll, I'll, you know, at 1989, I'll have some of the school in there because, you know, they have college students now. So from <laughs> 1984 to 1989, my childhood, okay, going out to the Atlantic area of the ocean, going up to the five boroughs in New York City, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, a little bit of Lancaster as far as, you know, that, and that would be, so 1984 through 1989, that would be this, the area of Illinois, 1998, and the state of Texas the hypotheticals, of course, regarding what occurred in Washington State, because I'm sure Washington State, or Washington, Washingtonians, Washington, Washingtonians, that lived in the, most likely the SeaTac area, and Portland area, possibly those two areas of Washington State and Oregon State that were probably more along the lines of adults would be biologically in that time frame, would be capable to look in the reference of that for the 1984 through 1989, taking in reference to the 1998 through 2021. As far as the culmination of events, I would guesstimate that, and it's kind of funny because apparently Joe Rogan is from New Jersey. So the irony is he probably, as far as, you know, he probably could. And then I think Greg Gutfeld is from the West Coast somewhere. I'm sure, especially in the California area, they would know. But I would guesstimate if you would take some of those guys along those areas to take a look at the culmination of events. And, you know, it's kind of funny because I'm the five. Miss Perino, I feel like. I could easily see her being like, no, it can't be that bad, and got called being like, yeah, no, that's sweet. <laughs> it is wrong, it is, it is. And so, I'm not saying that she wouldn't have seen certain things or handled it's just in a different capacity, to a degree, you know, it's just one of those, yeah, 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 it's, it's just, but in that preference of, through, and, and see, this is something that I made it best to explain to people in the Midwest and the South. They didn't want to listen to me. The Midwest, and it really is, because you take in consideration New Jersey, the tri-state area, pretty much down to about, I mean, you can get down to Florida, it's intermittent here, there along the East Coast line, you get up to the state of Maine, you know, for the most part, because you got the technology lines. So you take in consideration the Midwest and the South, the majority of situations. No, 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 you don't want to do, you don't understand. No, let me make it, no, you have to pay it. No, no, no. <laughs> no, what do I know? No, that's fine. What do I know about technology? Well, I know that probably some of the stuff regarding South by Southwest is some of the stuff I knew about in New Jersey. But you know what? You know, I'm sure there are some things, I don't doubt it, but they had, they were working in regards of, by the time of 1998, I think Intel, they're really getting at 10 right now, as far as uh, Pentium, in, it's still Pentium Intel, right? So I remember it was Pentium Intel for the processing 10. If I remember correctly, that was being worked on back in the, it was about 1989, 1989, because then the 
then you got other stuff. <laughs> and you got other stuff. Thank you. If I remember the programming by that point in time that was being worked on, something like up to 13, maybe 15? By the time of 1990. No, you wanna, you wanna, no, that's fine. And what do I know? That's fine. No, 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 no that's fine. <laughs> so when you take a consideration, you know, I'm sure that there were plenty in the state of Texas. Oh, what does she know? Well, there's my biological mother who did coding, and I learned. So go back to the Joe Rogan experience, and that is actually kind of funny, because in order to get Anna to leave me alone, is to try to get me to do the Y2K coding because I wasn't willing to. So in 1998, before 1999, I started looking up. Uh, it wasn't really porn by technicalities because they weren't doing anything. It was the equivalent of females that were standing near, so like the, the 1980s garage stuff where they were wearing bikinis just without one. And you know, here's a car and stuff like that, or a motorcycle or whatever, in comparison. And that was it, nothing more. <laughs> there wasn't anything else that was going on as far as what I, but that was enough to get Anna to not ask me <laughs> to assist with the Y2K coding. And it's like, oh God, now I don't have to deal with this. And let's see, what else now? <laughs> because I don't want to be on the cheerleading squad. How do I not, how do I, how do I, how do I do that? Oh, go and tell the truth about the real score? Oh, okay, and, and, and go throw the cafeteria table? You got it. <laughs> no problem. Done, don't have to do that stupid cheerleading stuff. I'm gonna go do what I want to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> to 
Because the male who I had dated at the time, he was at Scuba Toy, so there and now he shot, which now he's out of Florida. And instead of, you know, what should have been discussed sooner, as is it is. And so, choices instead. See, that's why it is a problem when you want to do certain things in a way that just direct into the point. You want to do that sort of stuff in comparison. Well, it's a choice. And so, um, so if that was a
Well, that's far less than my certification. So my certification, my 26 scuba diving certification, is the equivalent of two and a half scuba dive instructor licenses as far as the whole course. So if you take that in consideration, uh, the average is about two, two and a half years for one. What year was the airplane part called out? Because if that was within from 2009, so that would probably be, if it was called out by the time of 2015, that would be irony. Because that's something that if I had actually been asked. But see, that goes to those types of individuals, that, that cyst machismo sort of, oh, well, Each one the equivalent of a PhD to the level of work I did is the answer to that. With the ordained reverend before. That would be the answer to those scuba divers in the civilian recreational sector. However, I dealt with what I dealt with and how I could deal with it. And since all of them whomever they chose to believe. So if they chose to believe my ex and love, whatever, as far as Mary Bondelina Michael Osteen and those types regarding David Osteen and Sandra Maria Osteen and Ariel Nicole Osteen and or Mike, Anna, and Patricia regarding my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister, whatever ex and love, that's what you chose to believe. You convinced yourself of that. Now, 2022, you could have had a much better aspect instead. It's a choice. Dealt with that as a child and a teenager in New Jersey. People didn't want to take what I was explaining as seriously. Because they thought, similarly to the mid and south, the United States of America regarding the female no differently, you're just a child. You're just a teenager. Well, in that time frame, oh, well, you're just this many years out of your coma. What do you know? You're just this many years. So maybe one day that set of clarifications will make a bit more sense. So if you go to my website, www.susanmewling.com, go through my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, please do subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos, and of course listen to them, hopefully, especially, and learn from. So if you only do a short and condensed sort of thing, well, obviously this technology registers that. For each official YouTube video of mine that you listen to, because it has to be through my official YouTube channel for that registration of, through the technological aspects. Can't be done any other way. So in those regards, because experience, remember, 
because it brings forward that insight. And that's something you can take in consideration. It's not the exact same factor. However, because of the um, YouTube studio aspect, I am going to make this announcement just once on this video for this lecture. I will see if in regards of the YouTube studio aspects as to when the point in time comes, if ever, having that official capacity, because it has to be in the Ten Commandments portion, of the actualities of, so it just so happens to be that, I mean, I, there could be a actual presentation, I suppose, uh, and those references regarding the, uh, I guess, a different type of certification, right? In a different capacity. But because of how technology is, and commandments. So that's a, that's a plausibility as far as a little doing game above from listening to Adam Curry and Joe Rogan as to that. Something to consider. Though I do appreciate your time, make sure to like and share the link to my official YouTube channel. Subscribe to my official YouTube channel and go to my website www.susanbewing.com. Have a good day. Today, once again, is the 4th of May, 2022. There it is. 4th of May. 2022.